Karen Yamu is the talk of the town at the moment, however, not for good reasons. The city lawyer has been under the spotlight for a while now due to her political career and her love life. Nevertheless, she has been so unlucky when it comes to matters of the heart, from breaking up with her first baby daddy to wrecking Samido's home, and as a result, she has been going down the drain with no remedy. Here we explain to you in details all the drama and controversy surrounding the politician and her rise and fall. Karen Nyamu used to be one of the most influential public figures in the country, not only for her love for the youth, but also her involvement in matters to do with leadership and governance. In recent years, she has been involved in multiple controversies with Mugivi Master Samido, first time when the two were spotted spending quality time together in a foreign country. <laughs> to her sayering not only one but two children with Samido and other dramas followed among them having been beaten up by Samido over her stubbornness. I don't know if I can hear you, I don't know if I can hear you, I don't know if I can hear you, I don't know if I can hear you. We have, I have to make a report and we must make this a lesson for all men who think they can beat women and get away with it. Look at my phone. I'm a chapisha phone yangu kwa bathroom. Shortly after declaring that she was completely done with Samido, Karen Yamo focused on her political career and eventually got nominated as a senator. As time went by, her focus was taken away and once again, her jealousy character arose after finding out that her baby daddy Samido had traveled out of the country and that he was being hosted by a woman abroad. She immediately dropped her duties as a senator and jetted out of the country just to confirm whether the rumors were true. And to her shock, she found out that Samido was under the care of the said woman known as Bernice Saroni. And to add salt to the injury, the woman was a close friend of Samido's legal wife, Ide Inderito. Shortly after the saddening findings, Karen Yamu orchestrated a plan on how she would try her best to win Samido's heart once again. Even though she maintained that she was not interested in settling down with him, she waited for Samido's arrival in Dubai with his wife Ide Nderitu, where he was slated to perform for his fans. All hell broke loose when Karen Yamu invaded the show by demanding to have Samido close to her. Her move angered her baby daddy Samido to the extent that he ordered the security team to throw her outside of the event. While reacting to the feud, Karen Nyamo blamed it on alcohol, alleging that she was not in her right senses when she tried to disrupt the concert. Where Pombe? Pombe see a soup. Ati Jana nili choma. Huh? Now Ati Pombe be me. The ongoing drama between Samido and Karen Yamu has caused a heated discussion online as a section of netizens blasted her for being a homebreaker and showing lack of respect for her office as a senator. Among the people who reacted to the drama between Karen Yamu is a person known as Steven Mutoro, a public figure pale Twitter, Ambali Mwambia Karen Yamu Ivi, Dear Senator Karen Yamu, Article 75, COK infringed. A state officer shall behave whether in public and official life, in private life, in a manner that avoids a any conflict between her personal interest and public or official duties. 
see the meaning office the officer holds even if you are live you now another person reacted to uh this drama was uh, uh Raila Odinga's daughter known as Winnie Odinga ambapo alisema hivi city girls down a thousand points ni kama anafurahia vile Karen Nyamo amefanywa pale ama nyingine akasema hivi in future Karen Nyamo might be forced to do this to Samido so that he takes total control of him this lady is an embarrassment to Kenyan leaders we mwingine <laughs> akasema hivi how Karen Nyamo was ruthless just away from the concert with Samido and his baby mama walked out peacefully is this definition of love is blind watu wanashangaa tu kwani Samido ako na nini hadi anapiganiwa hivi na Karen Nyamo anyway what are your thoughts about all this drama you can leave your thoughts in the comment section thank you for watching let's me next time bye bye